super fast cars, crazy rollies, and a house that cost him millions. Neymar Jr. is living life, but behind the scenes, it's completely different. Behind all the flashy cars and expensive cribs, Neymar has been living a double life, hidden from his fans. But now, his secret is out in the open. We finally get to see who the real Neymar is. See, there's a reason our boy keeps buying all this crazy stuff. And I gotta start from the beginning, because when he was just a kid, he had an accident that almost cost him his life and changed everything. Back in 1992, the Samba kid, or Samba toddler, went on a road trip with his parents to go visit some family members. Neymar was only four months old, so, you know, they had to strap him up on this one. The journey was kind of far, meaning they headed up through the mountains, and that's when it all went downhill. On their way up, a freakish storm came out of nowhere and hit the road so badly, it blinded their vision. They were driving on their instinct because they couldn't even see what was in front of them. They must have prayed for a ray of light, and it did come, but just not in the way that they wanted, because what happened next nearly became the Brazilian tragedy of the century. The accident was crazy and there was blood everywhere. See, Neymar's dad tried to swerve from a car speeding towards them, but before he could turn the wheels, it was too late and the car hit him head on. And they didn't just crash, they all got hurt. I'm talking broken bones, nasty cuts and separations. But even though his life was flashing before his very eyes, Neymar's dad, he, he's a legend. Because the first thing he thought of wasn't himself or his wife, it was Neymar. So they stopped, paused to hear the sound of Junior, but as they heard nothing, that's when his worst nightmare almost became a reality. Junior had gone missing and there was no trace of where the Wonder Kid was. They searched everywhere, turned everything, nothing, and it seemed like it was the end, until this happened. There he was, under the driver's seat with blood from a cut on his head. They didn't have a choice, so they had to rush him to the hospital. It was life or death and Neymar was close to the end, but somehow he managed to survive and become one of the biggest players of his generation. Because of that accident, Neymar has been determined to live his best life and he doesn't give a shit about what people say or think behind his back. He's got his eyes on the wheel of his life. So when he got into Santos and bagged his first paycheck, there was only one thing our homeboy was copping. Whoa, I know what you're probably thinking. How the hell does a guy like Neymar drive in that? Well, you see guys, this was only the beginning because as Neymar began to show off his football skills to the entire world, the sponsorship deals and fat paychecks kept on coming. And pretty soon, he decided it was time to upgrade his garage to a whole new level and start an insane collection. Yeah, baby, I'm talking Lamborghinis, Maseratis, and Ferraris. Neymar was out here living a fast life, so he went out and spent 250 k on an exclusive Ferrari. With a 4.5 liter V8 engine, this baby can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. Damn, that's fast. And the crazy thing is, it's the cheapest supercar in his garage. See guys, Neymar is a huge fan of the Fast and the Furious, and after they shot in Brazil, this is Brazil. This dude got so inspired to buy the stuff he saw, he made it his mission to buy only supercars, and that's why his next purchase was a Speed Demon. This model is the fastest Aston Martin car in the world. It has a top speed of 224 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. That's one of the fastest cars in the world. This car has a market value of 2.3 million, but because it's Neymar, you know homeboy's gotta add a few customizations on his new ride. The car could be up to 2.5 million. Neymar's addiction didn't stop here though. He went on to bag a Maserati MZ12, an Audi R8 Spider, a Mercedes AMG TS, and a Range Rover SV. All of these cars are fly and super lit, but they've got nothing on Neymar's most expensive car, a limited, one-of-a-kind Lambo exclusive. This car is so rare, it puts Neymar in the top 0.9% of people who own it. Look at the design on that thing. It'll pay my student college loan and get me a new crib in Hawaii. Lamborghini was celebrating its 50th anniversary and decided to release only 9 units of this exclusive. The car cost Neymar $4.5 million, but because it's so rare, it has a market value of $10 million. Dude legit has the national budget of Iceland sitting in his garage. But supercars aren't the only thing Neymar's been splashing his millions on, because his next purchase was to fulfill a childhood promise. 
Growing up, Neymar and his family had it rough. See, they lived in a poor part of Sao Paulo, and for Neymar, every day was a struggle. Sometimes they'd have no food, no water, and didn't have enough money to pay the rent. And the only thing that kept Neymar going was his love for the game. So he promised himself and his family that as soon as he went pro, he'd buy them nice houses. And Neymar, he ain't backing down from his word. So as soon as he started racking up the millions on payday, he splashed a whole load of green on million dollar cribs. Holy Mary, look at this place. This is the spot. A football pitch, basketball court, tennis court, swimming pool, a gym, movie theater, parking garage. And the best part is, it's got an amazing view of this awesome Christ the Redeemer statue. It's the perfect location. Neymar spent over $3 million just to keep a promise? I wish I was friends with this dude and had him as a secret Santa or something. Neymar got this crib so he and his family can enjoy the new life. But when you've got a ton of cars like Neymar, this mega crib just ain't gonna cut it. So Neymar went out, swiped the card, and went crazy. Imagine buying a house just because of its garage and I'm still living in my dad's basement. Neymar's out here living the dream. I mean, this place has a garage for 20 cars and even has a swimming pool. Amazing. Million dollar cars and cribs, they're cool, stunning, but you see, Neymar's coming from a place of poverty, man. And now that he's got all that dough, he has no time for competition, literally. Neymar's watch collection is incredible. Dude legit spent over 3 million on making sure his wrist was iced out. I'm talking Richard Malil's, Rolexes, and even Casio's. After Neymar copped a mega deal with PSG, he decided to go shopping for some new Rollies. And his Rolex Daytona Eye of the Tiger watch is so expensive, it's got a starting price of 300 k Neymar loves to dress for the occasion and have all eyes on him when he steps into the building. That's why he splashed over 30 million to be heads and shoulders above the rest. In 2016, Brazilian was hosting the Olympics, and Neymar was going to captain his national team on the turf. It was his homecoming, and he wanted to make a big entrance. So a couple of months before the games began, Neymar took flight. Damn, a TV, bathrooms, Wi-Fi, and can house up to seven people? Neymar's living in a house in the sky. But you see, one private jet was not going to be enough for Neymar. He wanted to set a new world record for becoming the only football player with not only one, but two private jets. Custom seats, a crazy interior, and fully customized? Neymar cleaned house on this baby. This one cost him $12.6 million, and if you add it up with the $17.5 million Cessna private jet, that's over $30 million on two airplanes. I've seriously got to become friends with this dude. Sleepovers on a plane? I'm down. Or up. A house on the land and in the air? Pretty sure you know what's left. Neymar did too. And now homeboys completed the set. Neymar loves his mom because she was there for him when no one even knew. So back when he was still at Santos, he spent $8 million just to make sure he'd never forget her. This yacht has four suites and one living room. That's bigger than my apartment. It's got comfy sofas and a crazy interior. It's a suite on the water. Neymar spending all this money to feel good and look good for a crazy reason. When he was still a kid growing up, because his family was poor, he didn't have nice clothes or nice shoes, his teeth looked bad, and his hair was always messed up. People used to laugh at him and call him names like ugly. So once Neymar got super rich, it became an obsession to make sure he always looked good. Neymar spent almost $2,000 a month on haircuts. That's Neymar's barber talking, and it all makes sense now. That's why Neymar's got so many haircuts. Dude's out here proving a point. In 2016, one journalist got pissed with Neymar for spending so much on himself and partying with his friends that he thought Neymar didn't care about his national team. Neymar got really hurt, but managed to chill and ice the dude in his interview. But it got to him, man. And ever since then, it's been bad press. The media's always on his back, always on his injuries, targeting the love he has for his sister, and clocking his moves. Until Neymar had enough, and in 2022, he decided to open up and tell the whole world about the chaos that was his life. The documentary has all the details of Neymar. After watching that, you gotta feel for the guy. Dude's always getting a bad name even when he's just trying to chill and enjoy life. His move from Barca to PSG or being the captain of Brazil, it's a whole lot to take in. Give the man a break. But now you see, in the documentary, Neymar revealed his biggest secret to his fans about his life 
and how he's dedicating it to make sure kids around the world never have to suffer as he did. Neymar set up his project back in 2014, the Instito Neymar Jr., to help privileged kids in his native Brazil. It houses kids aged 7 to 14, and in the nine years since they've been around the block, they've managed to save almost 6,000 kids off the streets and educate them. That's the real Neymar, and the one the media's been hiding from us all these years. He's a party animal, but he's also one of the good guys. He's like Santa to these kids, but without the beard. A Samba Santa. But if you think Neymar's lifestyle is crazy, you certainly haven't seen this yet. Here are the top 10 stupidly expensive things Lionel Messi owns that will blow your mind. So click to watch it right here.